Uh, for this hour, let's finish up with this uh, story just before we get the news at six o'clock. Jean Nibluck from Sefton Park lost her daughter Vicky to breast cancer in 2007. Vicky left her mother money for a trip to the Galapagos Islands, but instead she invested the money into a garden dedicated to her daughter. Jean's garden has now made the National Garden Scheme's Big Yellow Book and is the first tower block garden to do so. Well, our reporter Peter Coulter went along to the garden to hear Jean's story. I'm Jean Nibluck and I live in York House in Sefton Park. The garden is like a vocation, I suppose. Um, I've always been interested in gardening, and until four or five years ago, we didn't have a garden area here. Um, And then, due to a lot of heartache, I put my energies and and everything else into the garden. And the garden looks absolutely beautiful. Tell us about some of the plants that are in it. It's a garden which is a lot, a lot of roses, um, because in particular they were my youngest daughter's favourite flower, uh, Vicky, and she passed away with breast cancer four years ago. And from that point on, having lost my eldest daughter as well, um, the garden became my therapy, if you like. And that's what gardens are about. It's about continuing life in a different form, you know, whether it be a rose or a tree or a shrub. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a wonderful, it's healing. So for anyone that's sort of listening and feeling inspired by your story, who's maybe had to deal with grief themselves, what kind of advice would you give them about setting up a garden or about getting into gardening? Well, I would say if, if you have a garden at all, you, you don't have to have a garden. You can even have a, a, a little patio area or a backyard can be beautiful. I have, I have had backyards in my life. And you can make a backyard just as beautiful as any garden. It depends what you put into it and what you want. For somebody to cope with either, even I'm full of arthritis, and I think the worst thing for people with arthritis or, or bone disabilities is to sit around. It's not good for you. You know, keep busy, keep active, put something that keeps you occupied in your life rather than sitting there thinking, I can't do anything. You can do something, and the more you do, the healthier you'll be and that applies to grief as well it's amazing um emotional pain losing a child or even a young person or whatever in your life is a terrible thing there's nothing that can replace your children but you have to carry on and you carry on whichever way you can Uh, and for me i carry on with the garden you know and how, how do you think your daughter would feel with the oh, garden? She would say, my crazy mum, my crazy mum. That's what she would say. When we got all the memorial service here finished with, then it really hit me, actually. It really did hit me that... Because up until that point of time, for five years, I've been very busy taking care of my eldest daughter and then backwards and forwards with Vicky. I spent practically four years in America... And then you come home, minus your child, but with ashes. And, and I just, quite frankly, I went into total depression for a couple of months. And then I thought, you know what? This is the last thing in the world that your daughter would want, because that's who she was. Because it was always, Mum, promise me you'll do this. Mum, you know, you must get on. You must do this, that and the other. And, and that was when I thought, OK, the garden is my project. That's where the money's going to go, and that's how I started with it. Well, I don't know about you, but that's just knocked me down. That, that was Jean Niblock there uh, from Sefton Park, lost her daughter Vicky to breast cancer, and has now uh, been included, her garden's been included in the National Garden Scheme's Big Yellow Book. If you want to visit Jean's garden at York House in Sefton Park, it will uh, be open for public viewings this weekend. Uh, we'll leave details of the garden and the other Liverpool gardens that are being opened this weekend with the 18. It's drive time. Good evening to you.